I think that the speed limit is 30 miles per hour and you were going too fast and you got cut by the cops and pulled over and they gave you a ticket. <laughs> but they're a little below the knee. This just folded up. Look, there's Why would you cut shorts? I didn't do it on Who purpose. Cuff shorts? No, look, they're not cuffed, dude. That, that was an accident. It was just like... And again, you're not... Oh, <laughs> Ooh. I don't know if my dad needs that or not necessarily. We'll we'll, we'll get to that later. <laughs> this is the room I grew up in as a as a young child. Look, this is it. Look, I took that picture a long time ago. I'm at my parents' house, as I mentioned yesterday on yesterday's vlog. Um, if the shirt didn't give it away, I am going to Freedom Breeder today. Very shortly here, we're gonna see if they have any new snakes. We're up here in the bay for the next few days, and I forgot what is arguably one of the most important parts of vlogging, besides the camera and the microphone. This is a little tripod, a little bendy tripod that all vloggers hold. I, I forgot that at home. So, obviously I'm still going to make it happen, but I'm not going to lie, it's going to be pretty challenging. You, you don't want to see what I'm doing right now to make this work. Mm, brightness. Baby goes, lopa, lopa, lopa. Hi, sunshine. No, don't say hi to me, say hi to the camera. Hi to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be used to that there, little squirt? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Having that thing in your face all the time? <laughs> Speaking of in your face. Oh, good, I get to use this line. In the words of uh, a famous philosopher, there's no time for this now. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm gonna give those guys a nice solid break from this because they're gonna be having it in their face probably the entire time I'm here. For the most part but yeah let's let's go to freedom beer and we'll talk about what's going on oh so forgetting the tripod a couple other stuff it's been kind of a rough day so i forgot my not only did i forget my tripod at home i also forgot my wallet at home and uh i just got pulled over i got a nice ticket here that i'm gonna take care of sometime some somewhere but i also i had let the registration lapse on my vehicle there's no license place on there i didn't have my id i just got super lucky like i part of me feels like oh man i'm, I'm i need to have a conversation with myself about priorities and get some things together obviously but the officer could have easily just towed the car and i would have had to uber here or something <laughs> uh so luckily he let me off easy with the ticket i think i think i got let off easy you know it's much better than walking down the highway he felt bad that i was five hours from home and was clearly going to work and and i had my hair down i looked like a crazy hippie but he he was still treating me with, with as much respect as I would expect to be treated with in any given situation. So, bummer part is that, you, I don't know, I don't want to focus on whatever the bummer is in that situation. The good thing is I drove here in my truck the rest of the way, even without all that stuff. So, uh, Jimmy, I've got a bone to pick with you, sir. You, sir. You. Yeah, you, playing in your phone, deep down, trying to avoid the bone that I'm about to pick with you. What, do, you, do you have any, any uh, guesses as to what the bone is I'm going to pick with you about? Hmm? Any, any wild guesses as to what's... Don't think you're going to distract me with your cool-ass new socks. They are like, cool, those, aren't those they? Are, those, oh, oh, they are cool, aren't they? They are cool, look at that. They're super cool. And, and they match the tattoo. What? I just barely realized that. I didn't, you didn't, we didn't see the tattoo well enough. Yeah, okay, enough distractions. What's the bone? Come on, take a wild guess as to what it is I'm going to All right, make. so. What? I did, wasn't able to show up to Southwest Carpet Fest. See, yeah, see, you know. Guilty conscience, shining right It did. You know what? I, I do have a guilty conscience about it because I'm like, it's just like this third year and I haven't made either one of them. It, it's not about it being the third year. It's about the fact that you told me on several occasions, oh yes, I'm coming, oh yes, I'm coming. And you know what the other thing is, like, you're not the only person that didn't show up that told me like 17 times they were coming. Who didn't show up? Miguel also didn't show up, even though he told me like 17 times, oh Miguel. yeah, I'm coming with the whole family, blah, blah, Miguel. blah, blah, blah. Miguel. And you two were the only other brown people that were gonna be there. Only other brown people. That's probably why we were a little afraid. So some sheets in the wind and like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> Everybody was super cool. And it would have been even cooler to have you there. Come on, what's the excuse? All right, so, no, honestly, I was going to go, but um, I got a little in tr I got a little bit of trouble that weekend. I heard you were on the beach in San Diego. Yeah, I haven't 
because of both jobs working here and my and ball life, um, my job both jobs keep me really busy with three hundred plus animals and full hatching season and shows. So I haven't had a whole lot of time to spend with the kids. So my little one got on me and goes, Dad, can we go somewhere before we start school? And I'm like, Yeah, we'll go somewhere. Where do you want to go? San Diego. He wanted to go Legoland, and. Dad wasn't having that. It's, we're on a short time, so we went to San Diego, we went to Mission Beach, um, Belmont Park, and we just kicked back, just me and the boys, and had a good time. You see how he has to go in and throw in the family in there to like make <laughs> me feel bad while making him feel bad? Doing what we do, it, it, it's very demanding. A lot of sacrifices have to be made, but you know, I have to give that, that quality time to the kids every now and again. So my boys I'm, are 9 and 12. I'm glad I wasn't feeling the sacrifice when... Uh, <laughs> Having to walk here instead of driving in the truck, I would have been, I'd have been really feeling the sacrifice at that point. It's good. All right, that's enough about you, Jimmy. We talked more about you if you showed up to Car Perfection last time. I'm, I'm cutting that last part out. <laughs> Remember, there was a mom that had maternally incubated her eggs. Well, these are some of the babies that came out of that clutch. They're black pastel coral glow, I imagine. It looks like a black pastel coral glow, but they're very very nice black pastel crow glows that I need to I feel like I'm not we need to zoom in more here that's all right these are these are amazing dude they're like neon orange insane orange yeah it's pretty pretty intense I feel like I'm not doing a good job of capturing it right now you need better lighting yeah the lighting's not so here let's go over here Point is, those are some beautiful babies. Just to be clear, I, I'm like, I'm not, obviously I'm not racist, I'd be totally against myself because I'm, you know, Russian, French, English, Hawaiian, brown, Filipino, huh? Polynesian, yeah, I'm brown. The, 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 you don't look, you don't look Filipino. I don't look Filipino? No. Comment down below, do I look Filipino? Not even a little. <laughs> well, the Filipino part of you is the part that should have showed up. The, the full Filipino, we got, Kino showed up. She wasn't even supposed to. She just, like, I, I invited her. She said she maybe would make it. Maybe. She didn't ever tell me, oh, yeah, I'll be there 100%. Oh, I'm going to be there. Oh, for sure, 100%. Yeah, for sure. That never came out of her mouth. But she showed up. And she was there representing the Filipinos. It was your Mexican half that drew you down to San Diego, isn't it? Yeah, I see my people. <laughs> <laughs> We like to make fun of race around here. In Hawaii, everybody's just one big melting pot, so we all, we all make fun of everybody, and it's all good. We all just laugh about it. We love everybody, and we make fun of everybody. You're, right? you're part French, too? Yeah, I'm part French, bro. Part French, part uh, Russian, English. Russian, I can see, because you like to drink. Well, my, la did. my last name's Russian. Makes sense. Yeah. Cusco. Cuscovich. I thought it was Cusco. Whatever. I should have had you at my house this morning. I needed one of those so I could do my intro, and I didn't have one. It's a good thing you're putting one in here, and now I can do one here. <laughs> hey, Noah. What? Oh, wow. What you know. I know. Trees. What about trees? That they help us breathe like other plants and they have leaves and some trees get huge some get like to be this tall or as tall as you and um they have bark and their blood is sap and they have long branches and that's all i know
I said that's all I know. Hey Eli, what do you know? Is that my members? No, it's just. Um, the one with the blue scarf. Yeah, it's Mount Chester. Wow, it's like super pretty back here right now. I'm back in my parents' house, obviously, hence the no one knows Eli's sleeping. <laughs> um, so I'm going to take a little cue from the universe. I just read the ton of comments on Hillary's uh, anxiety video just now because it actually went up today as I'm filming this. And man, it was hard to read some of those comments. And also, I'm very really blown away with how many people are that are dealing with something like that. That's, I mean, I knew there were people out there, but I was really blown away by the number of comments and the people who could relate. That was, uh, that was crazy. But I'm not one to like read into crazy things from the universe or whatever like that too much. I mean, you know, I do try to listen to what's going on out there, but I go, the, the speed that I got pulled over at today, I go that speed all the time. I set my cruise control at that speed. Well, it and it's, it's and that speed that I set it on is based off of something that my cousin who is an officer and has CHP friends re recommend that if I go in that speed I won't get pulled over so and I've drive all over around the state for the, for years at that speed so I'm gonna take it as a cue from the universe that I need to slow down a little bit and reassess the situation so we're here in, in my hometown for a couple of days I'm gonna take a couple of days off from vlogging it's been fun. It's been a fun little streak here, but I'm going to take a couple days off. Be right back. We're just going to want to kind of reassess my priorities and, and check in with the family and check in with myself and, and take a break here just for a couple days. And, I'll, and uh, maybe even just one day. I, my grandma's, we are going to my grandma's this weekend, so I, I kind of would be interested to do a video with her on the whole idea of putting your life on the internet because, you know, being that she's from the older generation, I just, I'd be curious to see her take on it. If that's a video you guys think you'd like to see, uh, leave a comment down below because I'm thinking that I'm gonna do that. I haven't talked to everybody yet, but I'm she's pretty cool and she's down for whatever usually, so I'm pretty sure she'd be down to do it. Um, yeah, but I'm in the meantime, I'm just gonna tomorrow we'll probably just come back here and sit amongst these beautiful grapevines and just talk about some stuff and see see what where we're at. <laughs> uh, you guys have yourselves a great day, okay? Aloha. So that's about where it's gonna live. Uh, I'm gonna dig a little perimeter around it so it's partially underground, and and that's about uh, that's about where it's gonna be. And I, I scoped this spot out this morning, so it's like this spot is in. 